I put my sheathing up across the face. Make sure you start from one side and you continue on that so your laps all fall in perfectly. Once I get to the door, I stop halfway. I'll sheet one sheet on there. I'll put one sheet against the door, nail it tight all the way around, and then I come back and cut it out with this. Then, once I have one side cut out, I'll start on the other side. It's real easy with this bit because it rides along the frame. This is a two flute bit, meaning it has a blade on this side and this side. So it, it, it spins around and makes a perfect cut. Here's the point I want to make sure you understand if you're not familiar with routers. When you're using a router, the spin direction is this way. If it is this way, you push against it. Don't go with the, the direction of the spin because then it'll take it and it'll, it'll want to walk off on you. When you, plan, when you go into to cutting this edge here, you start off on an edge, make sure you go right against the, the studs on the inside and use that as a guide. When you cut with this router, chips are going to go everywhere. So go ahead and wear goggles. <laughs> clip I'm going to show you how to take the windows out. I sheeted right over it and I have my frame in the back. I drill a hole right in the, in the back side of this so I have a hole sticking out here that's a 5 8 inch uh, paddle bit is what I use for it and I use that because I have a half inch shaft on this uh, router so I stick that into this hole I come right around with it. I don't go up this way and over because that's going to go with the rotation of the spin of the blade. And I don't want to do that. I want to go against it. So I'll put it in the hole here and just run right around and I'll get a clean cut. Next project on here, I'm going to go ahead and trim it out and paint it, and this shed's ready to start loading up. 